our dose of trending news. And Jenny's here to do just yes, that yes. for us this morning. What do you have? Probably had our fill of Halloween, but here's one more sweet story. So homeowners in California are searching social media. The family at this home typically leaves a bucket of candy on their porch while they take their own children trick or treating. But when they came home this time, it was empty. They later checked their security cameras to see who took it all. And they found that there was a boy who filled the empty bowl with his own candy. Oh, that is really sweet. I thought so too, pretty awesome. So they're looking for him, but I think that wasn't the point of what he did. That's right. Yeah, he yeah. just wanted uh, to make yeah, sure. Yeah, he waited kids. behind and made sure nobody else saw it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. And I'm glad he kind of got, got noticed. And the next, millions of Americans affected by colorblindness could only imagine to see these stunning outdoor views. The Tennessee Department of Tourism launched colorblind list viewfinders at popular overlooks all over their state. They offer a glimpse of the full spectrum of fall leaves to people with red to, and green color deficiencies. Well, that's nice. It is a breathtaking view. So it's it very nice. All can enjoy. That's something that's so hard to wrap your mind around, too. I think colorblindness. I think so. You don't have yeah, it. you watch people that get a chance to see color for the first time. You see how dramatic it is. Mm -hmm. too. Quite emotional, too. And then another emotional story here. Back in Billings, Montana, Bobby Smith is a nurse at St. Vincent Healthcare. She was recently diagnosed with a rare carcinoid lung tumor and just had surgery on it. And recovery is also required at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Her son, Kyrie, is a five-year-old little boy who recently received a tendon transplant at Shriners Hospital in Spokane, and both will require extensive therapies following their surgeries. And so Hooligans will be holding a Hooligans Community Monday on next Monday, November 6th, where a portion of the proceeds will go to help that family. Oh, wow. Ooh. It sounds Very like cool. they've been through quite a lot, so that'd be nice for uh people right, to right. show up and, and show their support. Those nurses give so much, it's nice to mm -hmm. give a little something back when yep. they need it. That's for sure, that's for sure.